in Surf World, Pete here at the Ross Sugarbush CDL Wisconsin. Just doing a little after season uh, video for you guys. Everybody's pretty much done except for, for the guys up northern Wisconsin, northern Minnesota there. Um, still a lot of snow up there. Uh, I got 22 inches of snow at my house yesterday so that was lovely. Had to use the dozer to plow the driveway. Really nice day. But for the most part, everybody's finishing up here, wrapping it up shortly. Crops really spotty this year. Some guys had a really, really good year, better than last year. Some guys did average. Some did poorly. Um, so if you, and it's kind of like that across the whole U.S. Depending on who you talk to is how they did. Uh, Vermont's the same way. It's kind of some guys had good years. Some were 70, 80 percent, and some were even under that. Quebec is just getting started. I talked to the boys there the other day. They had about one pound per tap made, and they shoot for four and a half, five pounds, some five and a half pounds per tap, depends where they are. They're just getting started, so we'll see how that shakes out. Um, we haven't started buying SERP yet. I don't know the prices. We don't do any of that in May after everybody's done. We kind of see what the crop is what's going on with it. There's some carryover from last year. So just be patient. SERP will be bought. It'll happen as we go along here. Um, it just takes a little bit of time. If you're starting to make, you know, buddy off flavor SERP, don't make it. It's not, it's not worth your time to do that just for this fact to say you made SERP. You know, if your sap is cloudy, smells sour, uh, it's, when you put your finger in it, it feels slimy, that ain't good syrup. You know, yeah, you can get sap on and on, but last week we had five days of 80 degree weather. There's leaves on the popple trees here. It's time to quit here by quite a ways. So, you know, I see a lot of stuff online, guys, are, oh, it's gonna be perfect weather. It, it, the weather is, the temperature is correct, but if the trees have already went to budding out, you can have perfect weather in June and you're not going to make syrup. So just some days it's just, you need to stop. Um, I get a lot of calls with ROs not running right. Uh, you know, I can't filter my syrup, you know, that kind of stuff. That's because you went too far. You got to, you got to pull the plug sometime. Okay, so May sale is coming out. We have our spring sale in May every year. If you're going to change equipment, trade, get bigger equipment, upgrade, and more efficient, the time to do it's in May. You order it in May. It'll get delivered in the fall. It gives the factory time to build it this summer. They give you a break on pricing. I haven't got the final numbers for the spring sale yet. So if you're thinking about upgrading or doing something different, let me know, we'll get you some pricing. Even look at your existing equipment. I get several calls every spring. I'm gonna make uh, syrup next Friday and my base stack is rusted out. So if you, you know, or I need this part or I need that part. The week before you're gonna cook is not the time to call and get a base stack. If you're standing in the sugar house and you're looking at your base stack now and it's bad, it's going to be bad next spring too. So get it ordered. A lot of the older stacks are custom built. You know, if companies have been bought and sold and move around, it, it's just not off the shelf type of item. Um, anything you need to fix in your sugar house or in your woods or anything like that, the time to order it's now and it'll come in the fall. and you'll be all set for next year. You don't want to wait to the day before you need it to order it because it's just, we it's not something you can just go over to the shelf and pick up and say, here you go. So if you're sta standing in your sugar house or in your woods looking, check it out uh, and see what you need in there. So um, it's that's pretty much all the new stuff right now until the market you know, pricing comes out with SERP. We won't know that. We did get in a bunch of Kishant uh, jugs. We got quarts, half gallons, gallons. I got lots of glass, uh, pints, quarts, of glass. Um, I know some of you guys don't need as many because you didn't make as much syrup. Uh, but we got everything here. Um, you know, if you're going to 
meat to fix them to being any of that stuff kind of plan ahead and that way you have it uh, even like you order online if you order today this afternoon tonight we process it tomorrow and we ship it right away if it's in Wisconsin Minnesota and areas where we can use speedy you'll have it relatively the next day with UPS you know if it's going to New York or Maine or Maryland once it leaves here I, I don't know the time frame sometimes it goes really fast and sometimes it takes extra days to get there it depends on the weather and what they run into how busy they are unless you do overnight or next day air or something second day air we can't guarantee the day you're gonna get it if it's a standard ground UPS when it goes in that UPS truck it's, it's when they deliver it so always plan ahead you know if you have an RO and you need storage solution at the end of the season you always are going to need storage solution so order it early in the season and you'll have it um, always plan ahead when you're ordering stuff we're not selling bananas here where you're going to get them and they're going to go bad so there's nothing in the maple world that's going to go bad if you have an extra and you got to keep it in the sugar house to next year so always kind of plan ahead that helps everybody uh we did really good this year in our supply chain there's plastic jugs is still the battle we fight we went away from sugar hill and croissant jugs is slow cdl jugs are slow uh it's just a constant battle uh to get plastic jugs so when we have them get them put them away in your sugar house and then when you need them you got them uh, that's the best advice I can give you. I know everybody don't like putting the money out there, but it, it'll save you a lot of grief. It saves you worrying if I'm going to get them, when am I going to get them. Once you got them and put them in your sugar house, you got your stuff. It's not going to spoil. And that, that's what I tell everybody to come to the door. I'm not selling bananas, so it's not going to spoil. Take it home with you. Put it away. Well, I don't need it for a while. Yeah, I understand that but I'd rather have you have it when you need it than not get it. So uh, there's my sp spiel for the day and that. Um, so if you're calling about SERP, give Dawn a couple weeks until we get the price figured out. Um, she'll know sometime in May here. We'll see what the, how Canada finishes up. We'll see what everybody, there's nobody in the East that got the price set as of I checked today. Nobody's got pricing out yet. Marvin doesn't have it out. Highland don't have it out. Nobody that I've talked to has it out. So when it comes out, I'll do a little thing and we'll we'll get you some information. But everybody, stay safe out there, and uh, we'll talk to you again shortly.